Days after Sunday's devastating shooting, support continues to pour out from the community, and the organizer of the Taste of the Danforth is hoping that the senseless shooting doesn't deter people from coming out and are busy preparing to make sure everyone is safe during the festival. The reality is, is that uh, without getting into details, we always had a security plan. We always have a security plan. We always have a police command unit here. We work very closely with the police. They're phenomenal to work with. If there's any enhanced security required, then they'll tell us. But at the end of the day, what we're hearing is nothing to fear. Just proceed as usual. More than 1.6 million people attended last year's Taste of the Danforth, generating an estimated $106 million for the local and provincial economy. It also has a major impact on the independent shopkeepers in the neighborhood something they're hoping will still be the case this year. We have lots of support from everyone and everyone should be should be feel safe to come back here because it's the safest community. We've got lots of uh, you know uh, incredible new things for our 25th anniversary. We of course will be recognizing what went on this past uh, weekend too early now to really know what our focus really up till yesterday was making sure that we had a, a proper vigil and a proper memorial next week we're back to business and we're going to be you know figuring out the alterations or any plans to our programming but the programming that was planned going to blow people away. Taste of the Danforth begins August 10th and the days before the festival, the local BIA plans on hosting a moment of silence along the Danforth from Broadview to Jones in memory of victims Reese Fallon and Juliana Kozis.